Hey guys, as I came in the office today, I wanted to address another uh, question for the Pre-Property Solutions Q&A for buyers. It actually happened yesterday. My son got a call, and when the question came in, I, I number one, had to make sure my son Nick knew how to deal. He actually deals with all you buyers. Number two, it actually happened to us this year, so I thought, bingo, we've got to answer that on the video. So here's the question. I'm a rent-to-own buyer, and I'm going into a home. I put a down payment down. I'm making my monthly lease purchase payments. I'm working on increasing my credit score through our program. All that's going well. I didn't, I didn't get the end loan yet or do owner financing with, with, with you guys, us. So I'm in that process and before I own the home officially, what happens if something happens? The roof blows off, the roof caves in, uh, uh, the, a windstorm comes and you know, blows a shutter off, the, whatever. Here's what happens. You don't have to worry about your liability. It's super important. And the question was a great one that came in because the insurance policy that we have covers the exterior. And if there's any damage from that event, that damage, and in the interior, your renter's insurance policy covers it, which is very inexpensive. If you don't have one now, wherever you're renting, when you come into one of our homes, you will get renter's insurance. It's very cheap. I think the last one told me it was $12 a month or something. It's very cheap. Don't quote me on that, but I know it's not expensive for renter's insurance. You're just insuring the, your interior uh, things. Example, happened to us. Uh, I got a call around January with this lovely winter we've had. And in one of our own properties, the, the uh, tenant buyers who are fantastic buyers of ours, I hope they see this video, they said, uh, we came home and the roof collapsed. Oh, it's a little overhang roof. It wasn't the main house. The snow had gotten on it, built up. They forgot to shovel it off and it caved in. Even though they forgot to shovel it off, it's still our problem. The right thing to do is have our insurance company cover it. We are literally, as we speak right now, as I film this, waiting for the check to come in. So our insurance co company will cover that. And then anything that got damaged inside, let's say their sound system. Sorry, guys, I got the phone ringing here. Let's say the sound system got damaged from the snow caving in or anything, clothes. Your renter's insurance would cover that. So luckily in this particular case, I said right away, is there any damage inside that you'd have to put a claim into your insurance? And he said, no, it's no big deal. It was the mudroom. No, nothing was in there. So what will happen is we'll get the check in from the insurance company and we'll send our property manager and construction team out there and boom, they'll get it fixed. That's it. He's waiting for it to get done. The second it happened, we cleaned it up. We cleaned the mess up for him. So you're not liable for any of that. I want you to know that going in, you pretty much know your exposure. You look at the home, you know if it needs anything cosmetically that you need to do. All that is controlled, and if something catastrophic happens, insurance covers it. So, great question. I'm not sure who the woman was that called that in. Um, and as a buyer, it's important for you to understand how that works. And uh, guys, if you have other questions, anything to do with rent to own, because you can Google it, you can go online and see all kinds of pros and cons, mostly from people that aren't doing it, or mostly from people that had a bad experience from someone that didn't do it correctly. I don't know of anyone in Massachusetts or Rhode Island or Connecticut doing the lease purchase program as organized, as um, specific with the legal forms that we use to protect you and the whole system being um, automated than us. I really don't. That's not an egotistical statement. We've got a great program. We look forward to getting you in the home. And I'm going to scoot back out here. I just want to scoot in and give you that answer.